All right, so I have my pan here, and what I've got is I've got some plots of butter and a little bit of olive oil for the bottom. And what I'm putting in here is some potatoes, tomatoes, bell peppers, and onion. Let's see if I can do this. And I'm just going to spread it out after I get it off my cutting board. I dropped one on the floor. That's a goner. <laughs> Things like that happen. Oh, well. You know what I mean? So I'm just getting all the stuff inside my pan. You can add a little salt or pepper to it if you'd like. Whatever seasonings um, you have at home you can add so that's what i have in there and then i'm going to add some garlic seasoning you can add fresh garlic if you want to um, it's a warm day so i'm not um, wanting to spend too much time in the kitchen so i'm going to sprinkle some garlic seasoning not too much because i don't want it too salty but enough to give me some flavor and then I have a homemade seasoning that I made. I have a video and it has like a little bit of a, um, the seasoning that I made. You can use it for a rub, a marinade, or just a seasoning. Um, it's multi-versatile. That's a word. <laughs> Anywho, so I've got all that in there. Um, my seasoning does have a little bit of spice in it, so I do not need to add any pepper. Um, I'm just going to mix this around so that way I can evenly coat um, my seasoning on the vegetables and the potatoes. And what I'm doing is fried potatoes. It's kind of hard to do this one-handed. I'm not using my tripod at the moment. But I'm gonna get it spread out so that there's something covering the bottom. And we're gonna have it on a medium heat. Put the lid on so that it thoroughly cooks the potatoes in the middle. And we're gonna keep on checking this and stirring it so nothing gets overly cooked or burnt. And um, we're just gonna keep doing that. And then once the potatoes are soft, what we're gonna do is we're gonna leave the lid off and we're gonna fry the potatoes up so they get a little golden brown. And then this pan, closer to the time when everything else is, ooh, look at that. A little tomato slipped out. Get back in there. Anyways, um, in this one, I'm gonna be doing mushrooms, but I'm not gonna cook the mushrooms until we get closer to everything else being done because we don't want our mushrooms overcooked. So I'll bring you back and show you the next steps. All right, so I am going to use a whole um, chicken and I'm going to be putting it on the barbecue grill. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna cut this whole chicken right down the middle. I took out the liver and gizzards and all that that come out of the middle of it. And what I'll do is probably chop them up real small and add them into something else. So what I'm gonna do, make sure your knife is sharp. And you just wanna cut through the middle, not all the way through to the bottom. Sometimes you gotta do a little bit of effort. I'm kind of standing crooked here so I can get you guys in the, so the camera can get it. Okay, let's see what we've got here. I kind of did it lopsided. It's usually a little bit simpler than that if you have it right. So make sure that you have your cutting board um, going the right way. Okay, so. All right. 
And I have kitchen scissors that are only for scissors. They get sanitized before and after each use. Okay, so there's that. Some little bits. And there's my chicken. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to put it on a cookie sheet. So let me move you over to the cookie sheet. There we go. Can you see that? You can see that. And then I'm going to lay it out like this. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to drizzle a little bit of some type of oil. Whatever oil you want, not too much. Just a little bit. And I'm going to rub it on here. I'm also going to make kind of like a marinade out of um, probably, oh, what... I don't know, some vinaigrette or something that I will go and wipe vinaigrette on top of it every once in a while so that way um, it's got moisture in it. And then, um, whoop, that's quite all right. So you don't have to touch your chicken that much. If you don't want to, you can use a basting brush of some sort if you want to, but just kind of rub it and try to get it evenly distributed on all sections of your chicken. Just kind of like that. So I know it looked like a lot at first, but then you spread it out and some of it's gonna fall off as well. So there's that. We're gonna go stick it on the barbecue and I'll be right back with you. All right, so look at all that, woo wee. So you want to get your barbecue up to temperature so it's warm enough for the meat that you need to cook. And I'm going to have to help this so it doesn't slide off on the ground and give the meat to these wild animals. So I'm just going to lay that out like that. I'm going to make some um, vinaigrette mixture with a little bit of water in it and come back every like 10 or 15 minutes and rub that on the top of the chicken so that I can keep it moist and I'll bring you back to show you that. Thank you for joining me. All right so my potatoes are soft and I added in the um liver and all that diced up so I'm gonna get that nice and cooked up and I'm just adding it to this you wouldn't even notice that it was there really so why waste right okay so I'm gonna leave the lid off now that they're soft because I don't want them to get like super mushy now I want it to kind of brown um, making sure that <clears throat> the meat is cooked as well okay so over here in this frying pan I have got some butter and I've got it on a low heat because I'm cooking mushrooms and I'm putting a balsamic vinaigrette on the bottom. You can use vinegar, you can use Italian salad dressing, you can use herbs and seasonings if you want. Rosemary is nice to add as well if you have it. And then I'm just putting my mushrooms in here. Typically, I'd put the lid on, but I'm going to leave the lid off because I don't want my mushrooms to cook too fast because I need to wait for everything else to cook because everything else takes longer. So I'm just putting my mushrooms in here and I'm just going to kind of spread them out so that they're all touching the bottom of the pan on a low heat. Okay, that's easy and that's all that will be for that and this we're just gonna let it fry up and keep cooking up the um, little bits and pieces and then browning the potatoes up so they're a little bit crispy and then we'll sprinkle some cheese on at the end so that's what's going on so far I hope you're all having an amazing day and hang in there because we still got our chicken cooking on the BBQ vinaigrette right here and a basting brush and I'm just going to wipe it 
all over this chicken a couple of times and then in about 10 minutes I'm going to come back and do the same thing again. barbecued whole chicken. I can um, then cut off some wings and some legs and get some breasts off of this. And I can also take the remaining bones and whatnot and throw it into a stock pot or a crock pot and cook it down and make some um, chicken soup. And then I would just have to strain the bones out, save the bones in the freezer and then I can um, collect bones after I get so many chicken bones. Um, I can cook them down for a couple of days and make some bone chicken bone broth. So that is the um, barbecued chicken looking delicious. And the fried potatoes and the meat was all cooked. And the mushrooms all ready to be plated up. Um, also, to remember, whenever you cook meats, the pan, dish, or bowl, or whatever you put your raw meat into, make sure you're using a different one when you get the done cooked product, because you don't want to mix raw um, juices with cooked meats. So I just grabbed a different one, but you can wash the one that you were using. Just make sure you wash it really well and get off all the raw um, materials. So that way you're gonna keep your family, you and your family safe. So there's that and keeping everything on low, getting ready to dish everything up. So thank you so much for spending time with me. Um, I hope this gave you some ideas. You can squeeze some lemon or lime over the top of that if you don't have balsamic vinaigrette. Um, you don't have to use a vinaigrette of any sort. You can use whatever you want. You can use some water with a little bit of um, olive oil in it and seasoning if you want instead of the vinaigrette. There's all kinds of things that you can do. So, well, I hope you enjoyed. Thank you so much for joining me on this um, barbecuing the chicken dish and um, I will see you on the next one don't forget to hit that thumbs up share out with some friends if you enjoyed watching um, this video and I hope it inspires you I'll see you on the next one